All right, I do need to record a quick addendum to the last video uh, where we have set up the Visual Studio environment because I'm fairly confident that I did not uh, tell you to do the output path. I just told you about changing the platform target to 64 and moved on. Make sure you set the output path to be the folder that your mod needs to sit in. So this is in the modules. Your uh, mod name will be here. That's the one that you've called your project. Bin Win64 Shipping Client with the ending... Uh, backslash yeah that's a backslash um and then that will be set up as your output path and that's when you build the uh dll that's where it'll put it uh further to that i just want to briefly cover off if you if you intend to distribute your mod let's say you want to upload it to the nexus and share it with other people uh, i would just warn don't just right click zip the folder go into it before you distribute it because this is what it's going to look like he says doing it live this is what it's going to look like you've got so much stuff in there that you don't need you don't need to distribute the epic online services dll you don't need to distribute all of the tail world stuff basically everything you referenced is just sitting in here exported you know, you don't need it, and you don't need it to run your mod. I My mod will run perfectly, with no errors and no problems at all, if I just uploaded that to the Nexus. I mean, it doesn't do anything right now, but that would be a perfectly working mod with working code in it that would not bug out or have any problems, and we've jumped ahead in time, if you haven't noticed. Uh, but that is all you need to distribute you don't have to upload all of that other stuff and it doesn't you don't need any of that to run i'm also fairly confident uh in fact i'm so confident of this that i'm going to say it uh, on a video and upload it that uh the only dll that will get called is the one that you referenced in your sub module so if we go back to our sub module here that's the only uh do I still have that open? I do. So I can actually show this straight away. Bear with me. There we go. If I make this a bit smaller, does it make it bigger? Nah, it just minimizes it. All right. No big deal. Um, doing it live. The only thing I think it's actually going to call and include is going to be this. This DLL name. So unless you specifically referred to other DLLs within your DLL, right? And like actually in the code, told it to go looking for these other um, DLLs, right? You'll know what you've done if you've imported other people's content. Like, let's say, for example, you've used the JSON serializer and you've imported that DLL into your project, then you've referenced that DLL and then you've told it to export that DLL with the project and you, the project knows where it is at all times and is expecting to look for that library in your mod folder, at which point you're pretty advanced at coding and you don't need me to tell you this <laughs> you know if you haven't done something like that the only bit of code you need to distribute should be the dll that you have put your code into and you can delete everything else out of that folder just a little tip when you go to distribute all right thank you just needed to cover uh, cover my bases on that uh the output path that needs to be set uh, so that your mod will even work when you go to build it thank you